Wheel, 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 wheel. Look who we have here. It's me. <laughs> hey, it's time for another art encounter. The scam candle. Boom. That's my way to get an intro, but not have to edit anything. Maybe we'll keep doing that. I don't know. Sorry, I have a cold. I sound a little stuffy. I'll try not to sound stuffy. I will never make such promises, though. Hey, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and so I just wanted to make a short video and say I'm going to stop my Adobe subscription. Jeez, I am. Here's why. I used to use Adobe Photoshop. When I first started off doing illustration, I used Adobe Photoshop for a lot of my art, <clears throat> specifically coloring. I, I used to do the line work a lot traditionally than color in Photoshop. I used uh, Adobe Illustrator for logo design, which I don't really enjoy doing, so I'm not planning on doing any more of that unless it's for my own purposes. And then I used InDesign to... Um, lay out books that I wanted to have printed, or to send invoices to clients. I stopped using Photoshop a while back, um, a couple years ago, because I found Clip Studio Paint on my computer, and that is, I didn't find it on my computer, I found out about it and I put it on my computer. That is a delicious program, Clip Studio Paint. If you're into comics, I I say it's superior for comic making, um, superior to Photoshop. It has better line quality. The line work just looks better. And you've, you've got page organization tools and stuff like that. It really is just, it has comics in mind. So, that replaced Photoshop for me. Even to the point where I started using it just for normal illustrations, not just for comic work. Then, I got an iPad two years ago. Last year? I don't know. Started using that. I've been using that a lot. I use Clip Studio Paint and Procreate on my iPad for all of my illustration work. I don't touch Photoshop anymore. I just don't touch it. But then I thought, well, but I still need, I, I still need Illustrator to do um, logo design. I don't want to do logo design unless it's for myself. And then I found out about Affinity Designer. You heard about this? Okay, so right now I am paying, let's see, in February I paid $53.41, March $56.62, April $56.83. It keeps going up every month, by the way, um, for the entire Adobe Creative Cloud, everything, right? Then I heard about Affinity Designer. Here's this app. Can you see that? This is a one-time purchase. One-time purchase. How much? $20. $20. What can I do? I can do logo design. I can do vector art on my iPad. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to 20 bucks it up. <laughs> and then kill a... Uh, Kill Illustrator. So I don't need Photoshop anymore. I don't need Illustrator anymore. What was the the one program I, I was still using? InDesign. So that I could send invoices is mainly what I use it for. Could I find another program to send invoices with? Certainly I could I could send invoices with a different program. Um, what about book layout? Well, it turns out you can do that in Clip Studio Paint. Now, I know that one of the main hangups is... CMYK. Photoshop, you can see CMYK and do all that, but guess what? You can also do that in Clip Studio Paint. You can, you work in, in RBG mode, but you can set it up to give you a preview of CMYK, and then you can export it as a CMYK file. So, anyway, I'm sure there's other solutions too. I've heard rumors that um, Procreate will also be in instituting CMYK. So, here it is, right here, right now, 
I'm going to cancel my Adobe subscription right here. Cancel plan. I might have to cut some of this out. I don't know. Oh, sign in. Don't look at my password. Don't link my password. So to recap, um, Photoshop, if you're looking for a replacement for Photoshop, check out Clip Studio Paint. If you're into comics and you're wanting to do comic work, uh, check out Procreate or Affinity Photo I've heard of. I haven't tried it, but check out Procreate if you're just doing illustration work. Delicious program on an iPad. Clip Studio can be on an iPad for a subscription of $7 a month or $8 or like $5 a month. I don't remember. Anyway, there's two different plans. Or one-time purchase on your computer and it's super cheap. They're always doing sales and you can get it for super inexpensive. If you want to replace Illustrator, I'm going to check out Affinity Designer and I'm sure there's plenty others. Put it in the comments. If you know of other alternatives to these, check it out. All right. Cameron, why did you want to cancel? They're asking me. My full name is Cameron, just so you know. Just Cameron. That's my full name. Cameron. <laughs> Products and features are too complicated and didn't work as I expected. I need the product for a project that I've since completed. I'm having too many technical issues. No. It's too expensive. I have another membership with Adobe. I'm not using the product often enough. I don't think it's too expensive. I gotta say, 50 bucks for all of the possible programs I could use like I had everything that's not bad I'm just not using the product enough I am are you sure you want to cancel yeah yeah I am sure here's the deal if I find I'm wrong what can I do I can come back and just do it again all right uh, they're, see now that now they're trying to get me keep using everything in your current plan for another 60 days at no charge no they're just they're trying to rope me in, because that's how sales works. I totally get it. By the way, have you checked out my shop lately? CamKendall.com slash shop, where you can buy prints and books and pins and, and stickers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Cancel my plan. Okay. That frees me up. That is delicious. That frees me up 50 bucks a month. I'm going to use that 50 bucks and buy a $20 program that I never have to spend another dollar on. And then, like, I'm going to be swimming in the money after this. This is my money, like Uncle Scrooge, and I'm swimming in it. What is this? This the brush stroke? Is that what that's called? This one? I can do more. Doggy paddle. <laughs> 